Well, hey y'all, trust that you are well today. I want to talk about reading rhythms. Now the thing is, with reading rhythms, before we can talk about how things go when you see them written down in music, we first have to talk about time signatures. Now we've done a little bit of talking about time signatures but we need, to do, we need a, a deeper dive in the time signatures. You will see time signatures at the beginning of music, and oftentimes, uh, where you are in your level, you'll see this time signature. You'll see four, four, right? Four, four. Now, this is not a fraction. <laughs> you know, sometimes I've, I'll ask students, what 4-4 four, four means, and they'll tell me it's 1, because any number over itself is 1. This is not it. This is not it. This is not a fraction. This just happens to be two numbers. The middle line just happens to be the B line when it's sitting on the uh, treble clef staff, or the D line if it's sitting on the bass clef staff. Right? So there's a top number and a bottom number. Okay? The top number has a story to tell, and so does the bottom number. The top number simply tells us how many. How many counts there are in a measure. This number can be anything. It can be any real rational number. So it could be 0.25, or it could be a million, <laughs> and everything in between. So that's not going to give us any idea of how rhythms go. The number that's going to give us an idea of how a phrase is played is the bottom number. And the bottom number has a code and we're going to decipher the code. If there is a four on the bottom, that tells me that a quarter note gets one count. Because there isn't always a four on the bottom. It could be a, an eight. If there's an eight on the bottom here, that tells us that an eighth note gets one count. If there's a two on the bottom of the time signature, it tells us that an, a half note gets one count. So often in band, we get told that a quarter note equals one count, a quarter note equals one count, but that's only true if there's a four on the bottom of the time signature. That's very that's a very, very important piece to this puzzle. If a four is on the bottom, a quarter note gets one count. If there's an eight on the bottom, an eighth note gets one count. If there's a two on the bottom, a half note gets one count. So could you have four two or four four or four eight? Yes. If you have 4-4, four, four, that tells us there are four counts in a measure, and a quarter note gets one count. If you have a 4-8, nothing, nothing hard about that, nothing weird about that. That means there are four counts in a measure, and an eighth note gets one count. Because you have a 4-2, that means that what? There are four counts in a measure, and a half note gets one count. I know, for some of us who, who, who are, who, who've been in band a year or so, it's mind blown. But just go with me. We're going to open up this mystery to you in a way that most band directors don't. And you're going to be able to play anything written down. Because what you need to know to play anything that's written down is, are, are, are simply this. You need to know what the note is called how to produce it on your instrument, and how long to play it. 
If, if you can master those three things, you can play anything ever written down. Anything ever written down. We're going to do more exploration of this right after this. <laughs>